Welcome back viewers. In today's video, we will uninstall the GNOME desktop. So in the last video, we have seen how to install the Cinnamon desktop in OpenSUSE Leap 15.4. So now we will first uninstall the GNOME desktop. And then in the next video, we will uh, check out the Cinnamon desktop of OpenSUSE Leap 15.4. So let us start. So here in the session manager, you can see the Cinnamon desktop has been uh, installed and it is available as a session. and uh, Gnome sessions along with the IWM and the SLE classic session are also available. So now let us input our password. Now we will open the YAS software center. Input the sudo password. Open the YAS software manage, uh, manager or management. Go to the patterns. Now you have to select the Gnome patterns. So first you have to uninstall this uh, Gnome pattern. So it will automatically select the Gnome desktop environment Wayland also. And finally you have to uninstall the Gnome desktop. So this is the base packages, this is the Wayland packages and these are the X11 packages. So now you have to check. So here you can see some of the software has not been selected. This is because uh, some of the Gnome software or the Gnome packages is also used by your Cinnamon. So Cinnamon is based on Gnome technologies. So some of the packages won't be uh, uninstalled like this. So we will do uh, let the system do its work so you have to accept the changes here right now so you are uh, we can see here the genome patterns x11 and the basic uh, is getting uh, selected for uh, uninstallation okay so now i will accept this so why the Wayland packages are not available for uninstall? Okay, so let us uh, let uh, let the system do its work. We will accept this and continue. Once the uninstallation takes place, we will uh, what we will do is we will reboot and then check the unneeded packages section. So now you can see only three packages were uh, successfully removed. That is the Gnome uh, patterns, the Gnome patterns, Gnome basic and the patterns Gnome, Gnome X11. So let us finish. Now you have to restart the system. Yes, and one new mistake. Uh, Okay, one mistake we did is we logged in through I think the Gnome desktop. So we should have not logged in through the Gnome desktop. We have to log in through the Cinnamon desktop. So that is the mistake. That's why the Wayland session was not available for our desktop. Anyways, not an issue. We can still rectify the mistake. What we will now do is we will uh, log in through the Cinnamon desktop. So this is the Cinnamon session and you have to input your password logged into the Gnome Cinnamon desktop. So uh, suppose even if you do any mistake, it can be rectified. So this is the Gnome desktop. You can see here. Now go to the administration section and open the YAST. Now again open the software management. Now go to the patterns. Open the desktop environment. Wayland and the Gnome desktop environment X11. Now these are some common packages that are shared between the Gnome and the uh, Cinnamon. So the common packages cannot be removed. Otherwise it will uh, cause uh, 
dependency issue in the serum and desktop so for for that what you have to do is you have to first head over to the package classification check if some orphan packages are there check if the unneeded packages are there so here you have to uninstall all that is given here so that will remove the gnome desktop completely so this dconf editor you can uh, remove So now this will uh, remove the Nautilus device uh, connection. So KD packages are still remaining, so those will be also removed right now. now all this packages will be removed when we hit the accept button okay so the uninstallation has completed 84 packages were totally removed in 43 seconds so now i will hit the continue button so now let us head over to the package classification okay 
okay now we'll go over to the orphan packages and the unneeded packages so you see some further more uh, packages are available for uninstall so what we will do is we will uh, just remove the known packages for for example the account id we'll remove this we will not remove this uh, packages uh, with the gnome now because i think uh, for example this nemo extension we will not remove because nemo is the file manager for the cinnamon desktop so we will just keep it like this it is incidents library right model imports we will take quick charts we will remove kd desktop uh, all the packages we can uh, safely remove there won't be any issue now we have to be careful with this and all these packages from here so these are the packages uh, some of the packages are from the gnome technology so you will have to be careful while removing this this uh, all these packages here these are the kde so we can easily know these are the kde packages so you you can easily remove them there won't be any issue but from here onwards you have to be very careful so now yes you can remove this too this is a kd uh, package for the games now even kcv is also a kd package so you can remove that so is this uh, popular laboratory uh, so not, not laboratory popular library Noto sense also we will not remove samba also you should not remove because samba is there uh, in uh, cinnamon also it can be used x uh, yes maybe you can use this samba client configuration yash2 we will not remove this because it is part of this uh, yash because whenever we remove the samba this uh, yash2 samba client will also will try to be removed so we will keep both this two or if you want we can remove that uh, no, i think most of the users won't uh, use this so we can easily remove this champlain geo code okay xvl and also gnu make also will not remove it is a important file mal content library okay so we can remove this mahajong okay it is already removed collab yes we can remove this yes we can remove this lip spice so gtk will not remove gtk will be used or let us see let us try to remove everything what happens let us see these are the gtk widgets And we can keep the make noto sense also we will keep we will try to remove these libraries restful so this is java restful web services xvl and we can remove
we can remove this now we will accept the changes okay so 64 packages have been removed in 32 seconds i will still continue go back to the uh, package classification check out the orphan packages so now you can see some more packages have come so we will have to remove all this see these are the uh, interdependencies so once you remove one dependency the others also will be uh, appearing here for the uninstallation so still the KDE packages are still available for uninstall so we, what we will do is we will select everything to uninstall I think it is safe to uninstall everything will not touch the noto series and the nemo extension shared we can remove this samba yas2 python bindings uh, we will keep it might be used uh, in uh, tenement desktop python3 tdb also we will keep Paul we will keep so these languages we will keep and this also we will keep now let us accept okay so 37 packages have been removed now let us go back again and check the package classification you see more and more pack, uh, packages are coming from the KDE desktop so of course we will remove this
so we will not remove the fonts the nemo extension share uh, the yas2 python 3 bind, uh, bindings and the python 3 and the perl files rest we can remove the for example the Q, uh, qtfi qca we removed and then we removed the samba li libraries also this site configuration we will keep i think this is the support for some scripts for the site paths so now i will accept so for the 29 packages have been removed now let us go back and check out the unneeded packages so here you can see more and more files are coming mostly the uh, files are from the kde only so we are doing the right thing you are just removing the kde desktop So that's it. Now we will again accept. So 25 packages have been removed. Let us continue and check out again. Okay. So there are some more. This is the only way, this is a slow method, but uh, it works perfectly. Only thing is it works slowly. So because of the interdependencies, they get resolved one by one. So you will have to do like this only. There is no other way, uh, way to do it. We will keep this Zapian search engine libraries. Let it be there. We will remove the uh, pim common file. That's it. Now we will again accept. Now 22 packages have been removed. We go back again. Now let us go to the patterns and check out the KDE. Yes, so you can see here the KDE Plasma Fire Desktop Base. So there is some data is still there. So we'll have to remove this. Okay, so this is the common data, I think. Okay, shared desktop. Now let us check out. Okay, so this KDE applications. Okay, we have to remove this Hawaii. And this is common. Yas2 control center QT. So we will remove this QT center. So it will remove the Yas2 control center and the installation of patterns Gnome Gnome Yast. Okay. So I think it will remove. Okay. So let it, let it be there. Keep the Yas control. We will not uh, remove this. We'll check any other applications are pending there. No, no, for here also we will check the below. So, okay, I think uh, this is okay. Okay, so here you can see the YAS2 control center QT is used in Shanam and desktop. So, better uh, uh, it was to not to remove it from the KDE. Here it is there here, here also. So it is common uh, package for both uh, Cinnamon and the KD desktop. So that's it. It is not going to be removed. Now what I will do is uh, we will uh, again go back to the package classification. Check the unneeded packages. So we can remove this packages that are purely KD.
we will remove this and below all these packages we will not touch you can remove this uh, wx widgets package so these are the kde widgets so you can safely remove them i think uh, we are done now again we will hit the accept button so you will have to uh, continue to do this till all the kde packages are removed So further 29 packages are removed. So slowly and slowly we are uh, eliminating all the unneeded packages. So here you can see some more, uh, but this time very less packages have come from the KDE desktop for removal. So at one uh, time it will uh, stop showing the packages once all everything has been removed for, for the KDE desktop. So when you are not sure whether this is a KDE desktop or any other desktop package, you have to just leave the package like it is. So I think this is also a common package. So let us not touch it. Lex, uh, okay. So everything is, uh, yes, this is a KDE package. So you can remove this. So you have to work very intelligently, think, and then only uninstall any package. Now again, accept the packages for an installation. So 12 packages have been removed. Now continue uh, the checking. Go again back to the unneeded packages. So now you can see only very few, three or four packages are there for uninstall. So soon it is going to stop. We have successfully cleaned out the KDE desktop from the system. You can see here. The rest of the packages uh, can remain there because they are common. Uh, they will be used commonly in all the desktops. For example, the Perl, Python, the Notosense fonts, the Nemo file extension, of course, will be used by Cinnamon Desktop. The Yast 2 Python will also be used by the Cinnamon Desktop. So we will not to, uh, touch it. Just two packages to be removed now. We can check it again. We will not remove the programming language packages because they are common. So using this Synaptic Package Manager uh, gives you a knowledge of uh, all the packages that are used in the different desktop. Some of the packages are common, some of the packages are only desktop specific. So you get a good knowledge of what is inside your system. So when you do it from the terminal, you will not, you will never know what uh, different packages are available. Of course, you can go with the sudo app search and uh, then check out, but this level of uh, knowledge you will not get in the terminal. So uh, from my viewpoint, I think Synaptic Package Manager is also very, very great. So right now it is fashionable to use the terminal. I agree it is terminal is powerful, but the knowledge you get from Synaptic Package Manager, it is now uh, visible. How much uh, I have learned, you can see I started using Linux from 2004 and now it is 2022. You can understand. Now, you have to again continue. Most probably this time there won't be any package for the removal. Yes, some few more packages have come, but they are very less, only three or four are there. Go below and check once. Okay, so nothing much is there for removal. Accept it. Now again go back to the unneeded packages. So here you can see only few packages, two packages, only one package is there. Not even two this time. Yes, there is two. Okay, the Actica is there. But uh, few more times of this uninstallation and the packages will disappear. There will be no further packages for uninstall from the KDE desktop. At this stage, if you just stop it, if you read the residue remain, it is not going to harm your system because it won't, it won't be activated. Those packages won't be used at all. So they will just lie there. So this is the K package. You can uh, delete it. Just go below and check. So not much packages are pending. Just one package to remove. I think uh, the next time there won't be any package for removal. 
so two packages the language pack and the k package has been removed now this is the last time we go back you can see here now there is no package from the kde desktop that has to be removed so the kde desktop is has been cleanly removed i can say cleanly removed i am again saying it has been completely removed from the system using the synaptic package manager not a single package of the kde desktop is pending except the common files which are used in all the desktops so now you have to finally accept this uh, you can again check the orphan packages also so nothing is there so that's it uh, we are done so now so now we can just uh, accept that's it we are done so i will stop the video here in the next video we will check out the cinnamon desktop that is visible here so this is the cinnamon desktop in the next video we will do it see you in the next video bye